Alright, this video, in this video I'm going to try and uh, change the timing belt housed here on this 1.5 diesel Duratorq engine. It's a Ford Focus 1.5 Duratorq. Notice it's not the ZTEC. That's a difference. There's a big difference in them. Duratorq. Now, there's a couple of checks I want to check before I carry it out. One of them is to look under here. And if you see one of my earlier videos, I'm taking this cover off, which is quite easy to do in the 2015 model. It's in fact, it's, it's even easier than the uh, 2014 model where these cables have to be moved aside, which you do not have to be, these fuel cables. They all seem to be, um, you know, just, just take these four or five nuts off and they just come off, bolts off. And uh, notice, is that, remember in that video, there's a big drive cog here. And there's a tiny little one here, uh, but the big drive one runs straight across. Now there seems to be only one shaft in there, there's one thing I'm going to check. Now it's going to make things a lot easier. Is it because it's an 8 valve and not a 16 valve? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 valve, is that why? So there'll be like a cam shaft there and 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lobes that spin. So the these in, in normal cars, quite often you get 16 valve, you get a cog here and a cog next to it, and they can be mistimed where the uh, exhaust valves are mistimed with the inlet valves. And but these ones just one shaft. Well, I should find that out. Also, second thing I'm going to check is underneath. Is there like a timing hole for the uh, flywheel so I can't do it now I could do that a bit later because I'm not in the right location so is there a locking pin I can put on the flywheel so I have to take this one off I think it all comes off in one piece I have to even take the time cover off the cover part of it I've loosened all those ones I can get to and give it a little shake. Which is how it kind of falls out. Same looking. Well, that one there is a bit awkward. That's a seven, isn't it? So you get that one there, used a long wobbly bar, went through there. That's off, that's off. Really, this should just come straight off. Let me wobble it around. Right in the end, I had to loosen these, these, this, and there's a funny little. I'm sure I had shaped like that from there. So, full access there. Tighten them up properly, like that, hand tight. All right, so get to these two. I'll take this time to cover it off. Though. And I've shown you how to do it in the other. So, 1.5 Dura Torque diesel engine, Mark 3, Ford Focus, take the lid off, and uh, look how narrow that is. As I said before, they've got 8 mil. I think it's a case of this, this, this comes off, perhaps that, that, and then that. I'm not even sure that one's on there. That, that, that. And it should come off. In there, I just know there's a throttle body. I wasn't expecting that. 
See? Well done. Traditional throttle. It's interesting, isn't it? Right. Remember these, you can just keep turning these and they'll just go loose. Don't do them any more than that. And, and uh, the, the... there's another view. Alright, still some wording left on that, which is alright, isn't it? Now I've loosened uh, all, the all the bolts covering this head cover and taking them off. The far one, on that, there's a far one just down there. I've just loosened a little bit and uh, it doesn't want to shift. I'm not taking these two off. Yep. Not taking these two off, but it just doesn't want to shift. Um, however, it does move up and down like so. And uh, my purpose of doing this is to see what's what else is going on underneath. You see that? There's no end bit, stick a bar to lock it or anything like that. It just fits into uh, bearing end. And then over this side, and I count lobes. Count some, if you see right there, next to that screw, on either side there's like a runner, a round runner. I can't tell whether that's like a lobe or something. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe this side. Here's a lobe. Look down there. See? I'm going to stick my fingers down there to confirm. So it's eight valve. Bear with me while I stick my fingers down there. It's not a spherical. It definitely is a load there. Yep. So there's nothing to, um, I mean, Dead center would be when the two uh, alignment holes down here and down the bottom of the crank are lined up. That's top dead center. Pin it and then change the belt. That's the job. So I'm going to put all this back now. Well, of course, I'll take this off again tomorrow. Let me point out one more thing. Look on that, Look that cog there. There's a white mark on the body. And a white mark on that cog. See it? And that is nearly lined out. And just below that is a little groove. And there's also a little screw hole. See that? If I zoom in, slow zoom. See what I mean? I'm getting my head out of the way. So as you turn over the engine, those lot meant to line up. And this here is going to line up with this mark here at some point. Not at the moment, it's not. You have to keep turning it over. So, sure sign. Has it been changed? That's the thing. Would you have put those marks on there? If you didn't change your belt. If you, from manufacturer, that's the point. I don't know. I would have thought there would be a mark on a belt as well. I'd have to think about this. Now, I don't know if I can show you this. Obviously here is the flywheel. There's two holes, one here, one here, one up the top. Now I think 
that is a special tool designed to lock the flywheel. I don't know what you think. Especially when I if I stick an M4 in it, it's too big. But if I if I move if I put like an M I don't know what it is, three or two, slide it along, it smooths the start, then there's grooves in it. There's a thread threaded part inside and same with the upper hole. That is a special locking tool that I need to lock the flywheel. I don't think I'll be able to make that particular shape. I can make it, but it's not one of them ones you can just buy and it'll work. It's a funny odd shape. You never think about that. That measures it's a finger to knuckle. Screw to screw it is fingernail to bottom of the knuckle. Right. I mean there is that tool that they sell. Similar in shape. Maybe, maybe. Another you know, thing that and it is how far is it away? Two fingers away from locking the flywheel. Right, so the last two of those seven mil bolts is one here and with this cover off, the front cover off, there's one about there. And that means the whole intakes can come off, the uh, top of the cam cover can come off and I can do my um, checks on finding a top dead centre. Although that may not be necessary when, to, uh, to do the time belt, timing belt. Um, all right.